Hey everybody, it's Sam here. Thank you for watching. So following on from my last tutorial where I shared my new magazine Christmas kit, I've made this really lovely wreath easel card. This was actually inspired by a really nice one that my friend Lou Collins made during a Facebook Live. I just thought it was a really clever way of making a, little, of making a wreath card and I thought it would work really well with this kit. Very straightforward to make. You don't need the kit to make this. It's just a lot of circles and you can decorate this however you want. So I imagine lots of you are going to be covering it with flowers and poinsettias, Christmas presents and things like that. I think it'll look lovely. So let's get started. So I've used my circle cutter to cut all of the circles and I've used a die as well. So the main circle size is six inches. That's the overall size of the card, six inch diameter. So you want to cut one, so it's a solid circle. Then you want to cut another one and then you want to cut whatever circle you have that's similar to this size here. So this is four and a half. So I've cut that in the middle. I've then done the same with the pattern paper on the front of that kit. So inside your kit here, you have this sheet. If you carefully peel these off, okay, you'll have a little bit of tape there that's sticky but you can rub that off with your finger or with a little bit of rubbing alcohol that will remove it as well and then you want to cut sit this in the middle of that image there and then it will cut this ring you can see that there and then this four and a half diameter circle is the closest I could get to cut that middle ring out so it was just a good way to just use you know as much of this kit as possible I then cut again the same in white card and I've stuck those two together so I've got a nice strong ring and this is the one that you're going to fold in half. So you want three rings, one will be the patterned paper, two will be plain. You're sticking those two together and then you're keeping this one. I've also then cut this one to five and three quarters squared because this is the base of the card. This is going to stick on top with just a little bit of a border and that's where I'm going to add my stopper. Again, using this die here, this four and a half diameter, I've cut a four and seven eighths, or just under five inch ring. I just thought it was quite nice to add a frame inside here. So I'm gonna stick that one down there. And then using the pom-pom trim in the kit, I've got my hot glue gun on, but I want to have a pom-pom trim all the way around this frame. You can see how that looks. So that's all stuck down. It's pretty neat on the back there as well. You could, if you want, cut a slightly smaller ring and then stick that over the top. But half of this is going to go onto this piece, this folded piece here. So what you want to do with this one here, once you've folded it in half, use that fold line and just line it up with any track. I'm gonna use the four inch one here. I'm just gonna pop my stylus in, bring it down, keep it in there just so that you know that you've lined them up. So that's also in the four inch track. So there's the score lines there. You could score this first as well in half if you want. Then you, what you wanna do is just do a score line that goes as close across this part here of your ring. So I'm just gonna pop it in there. So I'm looking at six and a quarter if you've cut yours exactly the same size as mine. And I'm just running that across like so. And then I can just fold that one, so it's a valley fold. Okay, so you've got something like that. That is gonna, well you can see already, it's created our little stand there. This is gonna stick onto the back of the card here, like so. So I'm gonna stick this one down first of all. And then I'm going to add some of my quick grab glue just to that little tab at the back. If you lay the whole thing down so it just sits perfectly over the top, then you know you've got it all lined up, but you're just sticking that piece down there. Okay, once that's all secure, bring that one up and we're now going to attach this one onto the bottom half here. Now I just need to make sure all those pom-poms are hanging out of the side there. You see how that is then gonna stand up. So I think I'm actually gonna use the hot glue on this because I've got that fabric behind. So 
my glue is piping hot it's been on for quite a few hours because i've been doing some other projects so i'm just going to carefully make sure my trees are the right way up and just lay that down like so there we go just give that a minute to cool I'm only using the hot glue because I've got the fabric between. If you haven't used pom-pom trim, then just use, you know, your normal glue just to stick that down. So now I can bring that up. You can see how it looks. So now I've got all of my pieces here in this little box. And I'm just going to start laying down where I think I want everything to go. I mean, I just, the snowman is probably my favourite. I think he'd look so sweet, kind of suspended in the middle there so I might pop a strip of acetate and then my sentiment chilling this Christmas can go just there up on some foam and then I can add things like the bow I think the bow would look really nice at the top or the bottom or oh, it looks quite nice at the bottom actually if it's a wreath that really does look quite sweet make sure I'm in shot there sorry I lay it all down this way it's a bit easier so yeah, I'm going to put some acetate through the middle. Yeah, I think that bow I prefer. And then I've just got, you've got so many bits here. You've got the little boots, you've got the holly. You've got the little candy cane. So I'm just going to have some fun now and get this all stuck down. And there's the finished card. I've really enjoyed doing this one. I've just gone, just gone for it, thrown everything at it. And I think it's come together quite nicely. I love the acetate strips, a very, very thin strip just there. You can see it just running across and it's hidden just behind here as well. So you can't see that. And I just popped a couple of the snowflakes on there and here so they catch the light. And then the lights here, the holly and the little candy cane and holly there and the bow at the bottom. And it all will fold flat. You can write your message on the very back there and that will fit into a six by six box envelope or I would make a slightly bigger, like a six and a half by six and a half normal envelope if you've added the pom pom trim. I think it's really sweet. So I hope you've enjoyed this other fun way of using the kit. Thanks to Lou for sharing this style of wreath card as well or easel wreath card. Um, yeah, it really inspired me. If you've enjoyed today and you're not subscribed to the channel, consider subscribing and hit the notification bell. That way you won't miss out on any future videos and I'll be back again very soon. Take care. Bye.